Hi, this is N4LA, and I'm here to demonstrate my new Rig Expert AA-30 antenna analyzer. Just picked it up this week. Sold my old MFJ and picked up the newest trend on the market. Man, this thing is really neat. Much smaller than the MFJ, much lighter than the MFJ. And it's just a better analyzer, in my opinion. Although the MFJ wasn't a bad analyzer. Comparing the price, this is basically about the same price as 265 US dollars. Just comparing it to the size of my hand, you can see it's not a big analyzer, not big and bulky. What's really neat about this analyzer too, it only takes two AA batteries. And if you look at the bottom, you've got a USB hookup, so you can look at all this on your computer screen if you like. I've got it turned off right now, but I'm going to show you a few of the basic features. Let's turn the analyzer on. That's on right there. I hope you can see the screen. Really uh, bright screen, clear to look at. No problems with the view. This is the main menu. Zero is for settings. One is for help. Two is for set frequency. Three is for set range. Then you got the PC mode below that. Four is for scan SWR. Five is for scan res or resistive load and reactance load. Seven is to show SWR and eight shows all. I do have an antenna hooked up to this thing, so we're going to try and demonstrate what it does. We're first going to set the frequency. That's number two, if you can see here. I'll push number two. It's set on 7.200. Really easy to change. Zero, seven, two, two, five is what I'll set it at. I hope you can see that. Now it goes back to the main menu where you can either show the SWR or scan the SWR. First we'll show the SWR, that's number seven. Push number seven, hit the check mark right here, which is go. And you see we've got a 1.6 SWR on 7.225. That's on my 40 meter wire Yagi that's up in the trees, which is not too bad. Now we'll cancel. That's the X. Cancel that. We'll go to scan SWR, which is number four. You can see the scan graph. I've got that set for plus or minus 250 kilohertz. That's 250 kilohertz each side of 7.225. Hit the check mark again. Let's go. And as you can see, it's graphing the band right now. At about 7.000, I'm just above 1.5, looks like about 1.7. And then all the way up to 7.475, which is actually out of band, I'm still at about 1.7. So the antenna is broadbanded and it works great. Okay, we'll cancel that. Next screen we'll go into is the show all screen. That's number eight. Hit number eight. This shows your frequency, your SWR, your overall impedance, your resistance, and your reactance. I'll hit go, check mark. As you can see, I'm still on 7.225. The standing wave is 1.6. The Z, or overall impedance, is 35.2. The resistive load shows to be about 33.9. The reactance, minus 9.1. Capacitance shows at 24 point, uh, roughly 24.15 picofarads. So that's, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll cancel out of that again. Next. We'll go to zero, that's settings. Let's 
settings you got three pages of settings that you can change your backlight your sound your load from 50 to 75 ohm the model of Z series or parallel and you go to next page hit zero again you've got your resistive bridge levels your de detector response test and your built-in filter test again you can go to page three reset to factory defaults next page and that carries you right back to page one again you can hit cancel takes you right back to the main menu I'm telling you this thing is really simple to operate you really don't even need the manual unless you go into some of the other stuff by the way this thing will measure cable lengths uh, open and short circuited cables I'm trying to look through the menu uh, menu while I talk here cable fault location velo velocity factor measurement boy the English is not too good this afternoon you can make stubs with it quarter wave or half wave of coaxial stubs measuring the char characteristic impedance that's the R and the X uh, scan you've also got the scan on there for that that's number number five I think uh, let's see what else have you got here this analyzer can measure capacitance from a few picofarads to about well it goes way up as well as inductance it'll measure that you can check transformers and it's a uh, shows an RF signal generator so this thing uh, you know I just got this thing so I don't know what all it'll do but it does a lot again about 265 US dollars if you want something for portable ops for your portable antennas like a buddy pole or a par in fed or some homebrew antenna man this is the cat's meow this thing really works it's really simple you don't have to carry the manual with you self-explanatory lightweight small and uh, man I love it boy I'm glad I purchased it well that's it from here 73 is from N4LA hope the video wasn't too bad I'm not used to doing this so uh, hopefully next time we'll uh, we'll do a little better 73 is from N4LA